everyone welcome back to my channel uh, data bi sql uh, so in today's video uh, i'll continue with the series uh, of amazon sql interview questions uh, so this is going to be a part 19 of the series and if you want to look at other uh, part 1 to 18 i highly recommend that you uh, go through my play playlist i'll put a link for the playlist uh, in the description uh, as well as I'll put the, uh, the table and uh, the, the create table, the insert inter, insert into table uh, and then select uh, query the question and answer we go through in the comment section below. Uh, so uh, if you uh, if you like my videos, uh, I request you to please subscribe to my channel and also like my uh, hit a like button on my video so that that kind of encourages me to uh, make a lot more videos. So uh, let's get started with uh, today's video. So uh, uh, this question in today's video, right, is about the taxi rides. Okay, so um, it's basically uh, it it qualifies for the for the intermediate to advanced level of SQL, uh, right, in Amazon SQL interview questions, uh, and then you can expect this kind of question in the in the Uber uh, uh, SQL interviews as well, right, because it's all about taxi rides. It's their business. Right, so they can they can very well um, uh, expand on this. Uh, right, I mean they can give you ma many tables, uh, not just one table we have in this video, and then they can ask you to explain some kind of a business purpose or um, you know they, it kind of relates to their data, right? So that just remember that it can come up in the SQL interview questions for Uber as well. All right, so um, so there is one table uh, that is covered in this uh, that is taxi rides. Okay. So it has the category, it has purpose, it has miles, it has charge and it has expense state. As you can see, miles and charge are the float because you know miles can be 21.2 miles, um, uh, right, 21.5 miles and things like that is decimal. Uh, and the charge can also be like, you know, 47.8, 30.8, things like that, right? So it's a basically this, that's why those are two float, uh, right? And I have this insert script, so it's around 20 rows. And I, I'll share it in, in share this particular thing in the uh, in the comment section. Okay, so uh, if you look at this table, right? Uh, let's just look at this table. What all columns it has? So it has the ID column, right? Which is kind of a primary key. Uh, then you have a category. So category is basically uh, the business uh, or, or the personal, right? I mean, we all have like Uber app. You have the business category there, right? I mean, you can put a business card there, uh, business credit card, and then have market as a business category. And you can have a personal credit card as well, which you can mark, mark it as a personal category, right? So uh, uh, that, that's the category, pretty simple. Uh, purpose is, uh, right, for what was the purpose that was used, right? For a business, it uses, that, that Uber ride was used for meeting, for customer visit, for meal or conference. And if personal, you use it for meeting friends or dinner or movie, right? And concert and things like that. So it's pretty straightforward uh, right purpose uh, we all we all kind of go for this kind of purpose right so uh, pretty straightforward the miles right for each ride what was the what was the miles that was registered so for meeting for example for this date it was like 21.5 miles and charge was charge means you know the, the amount you paid um, uh, that was 47.8 uh, dollars right and expense date is the date on which you took the ride right so it's pretty straightforward right stable uh, so the question that they are asking, right, is basically write a query to display top three business purposes, which generates the most total mileage, generates the most total mileage, right? So basically what they are saying is, show me three, three best purposes, three purposes, and order them by the, the most total mileage, right? So basically if you see here, uh, the meeting, right? If you see in the meeting, meeting has appeared two times, right? If you see customer visit has appeared two times, three times. So no matter, you know, you can have one uh, meal purpose and you can like, you know, have a have total miles return at like 70 miles, right? And that could be top three. But uh, what they're trying to say is try and do it on purpose. So purpose means the moment that comes into your picture, right? Uh, you should think about like how you want to form your query, right? So they are asking the, the three business purposes that generates the most total miles, right? So basically they are saying that group by purpose, right? Pretty clear, right? They are saying that group it by purpose, correct? So uh, automatically when you group by purpose, all the summation of those miles will happen, right? So next is summation, right? 
So if they're asking you to group by purpose, I, uh, next thing you need to think about is the sum, right? You want to sum up at the group, at the, at the purpose level, and then find out top three, right? So top three, the top three means like by to most total miles. So they're saying most, okay? They are not saying least. Least means bottom three, okay? Most means most top three total miles, right? So out of this, which three purposes, when you sum up their miles, are in the top three, like is meeting in top three, customer visit in top three, conference in top three, uh, business lunches in top three, right? Uh, things like that, right? I mean, um, uh, so you have to be first form, uh, as I always say, you have to first form the, uh, you know, for, form what is what kind of data they are looking for, right? And then try and see the column and then try and see that whether what will use, you'll use group by, you have to use rank, you have to use sum and things like that, right? Uh, one other thing here is, and that's pretty pretty much, uh, if you see, they have mentioned top three business purposes, okay? So they are not explicitly mentioning category, okay? So this is some kind of a catch, right? The catch why I say is because uh, you have to put a, put a where clause in the, in as a business, right? In the, so you have to filter the data on business only because, because what happens is if you don't do that, right? I mean, then it'll, it'll consider basically all the category, right? And, and if in the personal category, uh, if there are, uh, there are purposes which are in the top three, right? Uh, it could be, it could happen that those categories, those purposes will come up and your answer will be wrong. Right, so make sure to read the question correctly. Business purposes, right? So they are not explicitly telling you, but you need to look at the table. They are saying purpose, business purposes. Here, is there anything business purposes? Like for only purposes are saying, right? So you need to see category. If you want to clarify, you can clarify with the with the, with, the, with the person taking interview, right? And he will say whether yeah, you know, you need to use category. He will clarify that for sure, you know. But you need to ask that because here, what they are saying is. They are telling you to three business purposes, right? So you need to put a filter on the category. Okay, just keep that in mind. Uh, so so let's let's go ahead with the answer, right? So there are two approaches. The first approach, if you see, it's a pretty straightforward and simple approach, I would say. And uh, go with that, you know, if you can if you can remember how how this works. If not, uh, there is a rank function that we can use, and you will see that uh, you know it gets little bit of little bit complex. Okay, in this particular scenario, uh, but I just wanted to demonstrate like, you know, it works with a rank also, right? I mean, if you are used to writing a lot of rank functions or dense rank functions, right? And then you can, you, you, you might use the second approach as well, right? So, or sometimes, you know, um, the interviewer uh, will say that, you know, use, don't use the, don't use the limit, use the rank. Okay. They might actually say that usually that doesn't happen, you know, because there are like, n number of different ways to write SQL. You can use common table expression as well, right? With CTE that I covered in the previous video, you can see like part 17 or 18, I think I covered uh, over there. So, uh, you know, you can you can use multiple approaches to get to the query, right? But uh, use the approach which which is basically straightforward and simple. And, and it is easy for the other person who is taking interview to understand as well, right? So let's go with the first approach, right? So as we as we discussed, right, the the group buys group buys through purpose, right? So purpose, and then you have sum of miles, right? Because you have to sum up the miles at at that purpose level, right? Because see, meeting is appearing two times, correct, within business. So it will be twenty one point five plus ten point four, right? So you have to put sum, and when you use sum and the and the sum, right? I mean the the aggregate function, you have to use group by, okay? So as you see, the group by comes up at a purpose, okay? where category is business, you need to put that, right? As we discussed now here, the catch, okay. Then and, and, and interviewer will try and confuse you. Okay. That group by you are using group by, can you use where with that? Why, why can't you use having, you know, because usually the having goes with group by, right? The will where work with group by that's a question. So you should, uh, you should remember that it does work. Okay. It does work. Okay, so uh, because you know, so don't get confused and <coughs> excuse me, don't get uh, confused and say you know, oh, let me think and uh, just always remember that it works. So where, what's the difference between where? So where and having both are filter condition. Okay, both are filter condition. Where will apply the filter condition before you pull the data set? Okay, right. So here, what it is doing, it is getting only business categories. And having what it will do once you group by the data set, 
it will do having on top of that so let's say they ask you give me the give me the purpose uh, uh, you know which are basically repeating which are having which are appearing more than once right so in that case what you will do you will do uh, having purpose purpose uh, comma count and then group by purpose having count greater than 1 correct so what you are doing basically you are applying the filter after you are done group by right and here in where what you are doing before even bringing the data set before even doing group by you are saying that only bring the business categories because that's what it is asked here right so always remember that okay so don't get confused it's pretty tricky you you will you will start thinking oh oh you know yeah that's correct with group by we use having where can we use where yes you can use where okay so just keep uh, just uh, just keep that difference in the mind what is the difference between both of them okay so that so where you use group by where business group by purpose okay order by totals total miles descending this is very important right because you want to see total miles descending descending means it will bring the highest one correct so if we do that what happens is it does bring the categories with descending okay 91.6 31.9 26 right so uh, it is bringing six right but they are saying top three so what you need to use you can use just limit three okay that's a simple uh, a simple statement available limit three and moment you do that it will just bring up three okay this descending part very important okay because what will happen is uh, if you don't do if you don't use this right it is bringing all six in a random manner correct so here let's see what happens so here it is bringing five also see it is taking the random right you don't want random you want everything by the highest correct so you so five should not come right so 91.6 should come 31.9 should come and 26 should come right so so just remember to put this statement okay it's pretty important because they are asking you to use top most categories top most purposes right you have to use the descending uh, and then put limit three so by doing that it'll just restrict the right if they ask limit four just put the four here okay pretty straightforward okay so it will put a four okay so uh, you know pretty straightforward right if you know the sum summation and group by uh, and and ordering the data right it makes it pretty simple the second approach to this is rank function okay so rank uh, as i have covered in many of my videos earlier uh, rank what they do is what what the rank function does is basically it ranks the, each of the categories right each of the business purposes so here if you see the same thing so here we need to write sub query right uh, and then you know to put a filter okay so here let's say you say select category and purpose why we need to use category here because in the rank we have to use category okay that's why we have to put it here I think if you remove this category, right, it will not work. The rank function will not work because you're putting category in the rank. So you need to have that in the column also. So what we are doing is we are first basically taking category and purpose and then summation of miles like we did earlier. And then we are saying rank over partition by category. Here we are over partition by category, okay, not purpose. Because if you do by purpose, it will just categorize by purpose. No, right. We want to partition it by category order by sum of miles okay so what it will do is it will do the same thing it will basically order it by summation of miles like right and we are using descending here see so it will basically order it by like this right 91.6 will come first 31.9 26 and things like that okay and then it will assign the rank to each of them okay so same thing we have used where category is business and then group by category and purpose so if you see the data of this right what it is doing it is saying category these three total miles and then it is assigning the rank to each other right each of this one two three four five five right and here it's basically five because you know both of them are five so it's assigning the same rank to them okay so we are using rank okay so once this is used a sub query you select the purpose and total miles out of that and then you have to say because they are asked for three you have to put one two and three okay then group by okay group by purpose and total miles okay and then order by total miles okay i think if you don't use group by that's also fine here uh, because let's see whether it works or not 
yeah it works because because you know here you are just pulling this as a column out of the sub query right you are not actually doing aggregation here on top you are doing aggregation uh, in the sub query treating as like a table and then you are doing it right so basically we don't need this group by we can just say where rank and then order by total miles in descending right okay yep so you now this will also work right uh, but i think this is pretty straightforward you are just limiting it right to 3 so that's why you know i think uh, that's a simple approach but uh, like i mentioned if you are used to working a lot with with rank function you might find this also as pretty straightforward and simple right so i just wanted to show both the approach right uh, uh, both of the approach are valid and and it will work uh, just so so i would just say uh, uh, i am going to share this data set right uh, and table i would say just just uh, just run this on postgres and then uh, write a query uh, you know uh, 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 just like i have written i am going to give this query and then you know uh, try and test right i mean just see what happens if you receive uh, remote descending from here right um, uh, what kind of how the data behavior changes right if you have some other way to uh, uh, bring it up right uh, bring the data then you know use that approach that you are comfortable with and if that's the case right apart from these two approach if there is any other simple approach works please feel to feel free, feel free to put it in comments you know so that we all can learn okay all right uh, so that's it for it today guys uh, i hope you like my video you like my content and i hope it it helps you uh, uh, achieving your goal uh, right which is passing the interview and if that's the case uh, uh, you know uh, please please subscribe to my channel and like my videos thank you guys